Good morning. This is Lisa Tanner, Superintendent of Bogalusa City Schools, and I wanted to talk with you this morning about COVID-19 and the Bogalusa City School System and the effect it's having on person in-person learning. We all know that COVID-19 has hit our community, our state, and our nation hard again. We're in the second surge, and we are still in phase three, according to the CDC and the Governor of Louisiana. He did, on August the 4th, come out with a mask mandate that everyone has to be masked. And we are watching that at our schools. Our children are masked, our teachers are masked, and if not, it is reported to me immediately, and we take care of that. But we have not had a problem to date with children not masking, and that, I, I thank you so much for that. But what I come to you this morning and ask you about is to please help us with the, your children who may come from a home that has COVID in it currently or is showing symptoms of being infected by COVID-19. We cannot keep children in school for face-to-face -face learning if children who are infected or her, have been in a house with infection from COVID-19, if they come to school. We have to send children home to be isolated and quarantined if they come in contact, even with the mask on. So while you think our numbers are high in our schools, it's not due to infection, it's due to quarantining because one child may have come into the classroom and has to be quarantined, or an adult. So please, if your children show any symptoms at all of having COVID-19 or there is someone in your home that currently is infected with COVID-19, the child cannot come to school. Please notify your school so that we can do contact tracing and we know who has been quarantined and when they need to return to school. You can all go to Bogalusa High School. You can get your test there. You get the results within 15 minutes. Please wait for the result. Do not go back to school or back to work until you have those results and you have to have a negative test before you can return. Also, we're in the process of, of handing out tablets to our children at Bird Avenue and Chromebooks at our other two schools. So if we have an instance where you have to be quarantined or your child does or you ha someone has to go home, we can continue our learning process through virtual learning until they return to school. It is our job this year to educate our children and we wanna do that as best we can, as safely as we can. But we have to stop quarantining children because of infectious people who come to school. Please keep your children home until they are well. And please work with our principals at our schools as they call you and our supervisor of child welfare. If your child has to be quarantined, it is for the safety of all. And if your child has to be quarantined because of an infection, please understand that we have to do that. We always call the CDC, we check with OPH, we check with everyone to make sure that we're following those guidelines. We want to educate our children the best we can, as safely as we can. As we hand out Chromebooks and tablets, you have to return the technology agreement in the back of the technology book that each child got and brought home. We can't hand out that technology until we receive that paper. So please make sure your child brings that to school, drop it by the office, whatever. If your child has to be quarantined, you can come by and get their Chromebook as long as we have that paperwork. That's the, of the utmost importance so we can track everything that we have. Again, I'm just coming to you to say wonderful job with masking. We have done well with masking. Our children mask, our adults mask. If there's an issue, it has been addressed. But we need you to work with us when it comes to infection and children coming to school who are sick. We cannot keep them in a classroom if a sick child or adult is at school and then we have to quarantine everyone else. That is our issue right now. Thank you for your time today. If you have any questions, please call your schools, talk to your principals. If you have a problem, let them know so that we can be the solution and we can help you educate your children. Thank you so much and have a great day.